If you're trying to get a fresh start in 2021 with a new workout routine, Reach Group Fitness in Lexington may be able to help. Personal trainer Katie Herndon joins me now. And Katie, I feel like the key is finding a way to make your workout not feel like work. So how do we do that? Um, it's really about finding what you love. Um, so I'm going to talk about some weight training stuff today, but if weight training is not your jam, then find what it is that you love, whether it's yoga or swimming, any way that we can move our body, especially even outside of our workouts, you know, moving throughout the day, getting our steps in. Um, that's really the key because if you don't love it, you're not going to stick to it. Mm -hmm. But weight training is important though. Even, and even if it's just small weights, especially for us women, as we get older, yes, it is huge. Um, and you're so right. As we grow older, all of us, men and women, uh, but especially women, because we lose bone mass uh, quicker and we lose muscle mass as well. So pick up the weights, as you said, even if they're small weights, bump those bad boys up and uh, lift the weights. Yeah. Show us some simple moves, some things that you like that can really pack a powerful punch because I see the kettlebells there. I love kettlebells. Yes. And even though it's pink, don't, uh, don't sweat on this because this is a 20 pound kettlebell um, and you want to get the most bang for your buck. So starting with those big muscle groups, one of the go-tos is a squat. Um, so I'll walk through that just a little bit. So with your squat, uh, you want to make sure you're starting with your feet. That's where it all starts. We're connected to the floor. You can always hold a kettlebell down. You can hold it up, whatever suits you, pushing your hips back, keeping your core engaged. Core work can really come from these big lifts, not just laying on the ground and doing a bunch of crunches. So push your hips back, sink down, keeping the knees out. I like to tell people to try to rip the ground apart underneath them and then keep your chest up, drive through the floor, come back up. So when you're doing these anywhere from like eight, 10, 15 of these, and then give yourself a little bit of time to rest, hop in and do another set, three to four sets. It's gonna get the legs, the glutes, core, a little bit of everything. So that's my favorite lower body. Um, when it comes to upper body back, especially for women, I know we've already talked about this, but getting that postural support, um, pulling the shoulders back, chest forward. So a good one for this is a uh, bit over rows. So you wanna push your hips back and get your back nice and flat. A lot of people will be pretty upright, which can hurt the shoulders. So hips go back, rolling the shoulders back and reaching your elbows to your waistband. A lot of people will kind of come up to the armpits. So row back, squeeze the shoulder blades and then push out at about a 45 degree angle away from you, squeezing the shoulders and keeping the core in. And once again, you get that core support um, supporting the spine. So those are two big ones. Um, shoulders are another big muscle group. So you can do some shoulder pressing. Just watch out. Those are really, um, sometimes a little bit tender. You know, fitness is great, but it's really not going to help you if your diet isn't great. So how can so, you help people get their diets in shape as well? Yeah. Diet is huge. And consistency is huge. It's just showing up and doing those same things every day, even when we don't want to. Um, so one thing that I tell my clients, um, and this is huge, try this at home. It doesn't take any effort to your food like 20 to 30 times. Every bite, sit down and take about 20 to 30 minutes to eat your meals because that's when our bodies realize, oh, I'm actually full. So if we're finishing a meal in 10 minutes, we may end up eating more than we really need or our bodies really needed. Um, sitting down, putting phones away, uh, putting things on a plate or in a bowl, it's so much easier to keep diving into our snacks when they're in that big bag versus when they're in a bowl, we've taken the time, we've actually tasted it. Like food tastes good, that's why we wanna eat it. So taste it, chew it um, and savor it. So then you can still have all the things that you want. Um, and then my final one is that water, um, water is a big one. Um, making sure you're getting about half your body weight in ounces. Um, I know I said that was my final one, but veggies. Veggies are also our best friends. They fill us with so many nutrients. So half your plate is veggies. A quarter of your plate is protein. So lean proteins or plant-based proteins, and then filling up on some carbs um, and some yummy fats as well. So just keeping it nice and balanced. So where can people get more information? Um, so you can check us out um, at reachgroupfitness.com. We have, um, these are the Versa Climbers. So we have Versa Climber classes. Um, we also have strength training classes like we showed you. Um, we have some yoga, if that's your thing. Um, so you can try it all out and mix it up intro month for a hundred dollars. So if you're jumping into this, um, this is a great option. Or if you're interested in personal training, uh, you can also get that information there. 
All right, Katie Herndon with Reach Group Fitness. Thanks so much for the workout tips. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer.